All right, a quick little thing you can do to boost your FPS is search up game mode settings. And this also does work on Windows 10. I just make sure it's enabled, come here to graphics and make sure the optimization is also enabled. And then you want to add your Rainbow Six Siege or any other game that you play as well here. It, it'll depend on wherever your files is at. Um, but your game will pop up down here and let's get into the actual game itself. All right, so this is Siege's new update, Siege X. Um, I'm mainly going to be covering the core Siege, not really dual front, um, but let's get into it. Now, to be honest, most of these settings will be preference for the most part, but there are some settings I'll be like giving advice to uh, for newer players. So, um, you want pings on the stun effects. This is like when you get stunned, if you want your screen to turn white or black, I'm fine with it being white, doesn't really bother me. Um, this is like when you get a uh, flashbang, uh, you don't want like the, the ring noise or wave sound unless you just like it, I guess. But when you get stunned, you're still going to be like your audio is not going to be crystal clear. You're still going to have obviously some distort to it. But muted just makes it less annoying um, with the high pitch noise not being in your ear. This right here is just preference. Uh, diffuser pickup, I would recommend manual as so as like, you know, when you pick it up the diffuser, like, you know, for a fact, you dropped it or picked it up. Uh, the visible throw line, I would recommend it on just so you know um, where your C4 impact grenade flashbang is going towards. Uh, drone, drone after prep, uh, I would I would recommend having this on manual just because, um, like let's say uh, your teammates want to they want to make a certain push and they just need someone to hold the camera, uh, in the early prep phase, I mean action phase. So when the prep phase ends, you'll be able to stay on the camera and the game won't kick you out of it. Mm, match replay on these slides who don't really matter but it is honestly custom some people like it being bare minimum if you go over my videos um i just like how it looks for me i kind of have like more minimal look to it but i would recommend um compass on simplify just so you don't have like a really big compass in the middle of your screen um yeah most of these you want to keep on for the most part um Obviously, people have different preferences. If you like something different, hey man, go for it. If it works for you, it works for you. Um, I know people definitely like mess with the health bar. I just I don't mind it. I have all this on. Usually, the only thing I have off is the teammates' uh, username, just because like you know you don't want to see hillbilly all, all like all over your screen. You know you don't want a random long username going around your screen when you're in the middle of a gunfight. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going through the just so you guys can copy it if you guys want to. Just see what I have. Now, audio has been changed. I want to say Hi-Fi is better now. I would only recommend, well, I only used and recommended Night Mode Um, before this update. I want to say Hi-Fi is better now, but... Uh, obviously the audio still knows everyone still has to like pretty much relearn audio for the most part. And when I was on the test server, Hi-Fi just seemed the best overall. With high mode, everything sounded so, so muffled. Um, and what I like used to be able to hear. This is the same effect that was in general. I just have these on 100. But these are just preference if you like the in-game noise. Um, I mean music, you can have it on. Voice over presets, you can also have it set off minimal. I just like it on maximum loud, it doesn't bother me. Do any of these mean? No, none of these really matter. These for your just preference. Play. So currently I am on border borderless just because I'm recording. I'll drag over my OBS. Um, this is my hand cam right here on the right. But I just have it on borderless so I can like do that um without like having alt tab and uh, my screen going black but i if i if, if i go full screen you it'll go to 360 fps i mean 360 hertz that's what i run as with the ratio is preference um popular ones are 4 3 3 2 16 um and 16 10 mess around with what you like if 16 9 works for you hey man go for it uh 5 4 is also uh, pretty popular i've been trying 4 3 recently V-Sync, you usually want to have it off unless your computer's like really bad. FPS limit, I would really only, 
I would only really recommend this if like you're streaming and like let's say like your PC can't go above 144, but like it dips a lot. So let's say you're at 250, but then dips to like 180 constantly. And that might be a little bit annoying to you. So I would recommend going down to 144. Or you can also go into game files and cap it. Um field of view, I run 87. I wouldn't recommend something between like 83. 90 unless you want to go lower hey if that if it works for you it works for you i don't judge uh my brightness is 71 now graphics so i did a little few of the benchmarks tests and there wasn't much of a difference for me personally from my older settings that i used to run so if you honestly just want the best frame rate i would recommend everything on low except uh shadows because you want to be able to see your enemy shadows like if like if you're inside looking outside you might be able to see a shadow coming before the enemy actually appears giving you like a, a edge on them don't don't take that out of context um <laughs> everything else i would recommend off anti-aliasing i have it on taa and i normally run 100 100 but you could also do off and then just leave like that and play like that Nothing wrong with that. I just prefer the look on TAA. 100 under gives it a more clean look. Um, but if you do want to lower it, I probably wouldn't recommend anything under 60 just because then your game's gonna look really blurry. And that's just not a good look, really. Mm -mm. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do play 1440p, but I mean, you don't need it. 1080p is fine, at least for Siege. Um, drone speed, I just I have it on hold. Um, raw input, I'm not sure if this is fixed yet, but I just have it on off. I have heard previously, and I, this is like a while back, that it like it bugs, and sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. So I just have it on off. My sense is 1212 12 on the regular multiplier. I don't run um like a multiplier that makes it faster or slower. And these are my um ADS senses. I really only use 70 and 80. I don't really bother with any of these below. Mm -mm. Mouse scroll, I have it enabled. Gadget deployment, I would recommend advanced simply because let's say you're placing a breach in charge and someone jumps out and starts shooting at you, you're able to cancel the animation and be able to put your weapon up and have a chance to fight back. Drone deployment, I would recommend also on advanced because you're able to throw your drone without um, it putting you on the cam automatically so be able to bait people by throwing the drone and like let's say they shoot the drone or like they run outside to try and catch you off guard but your weapon will actually be up and you have a better chance at um that gunfight aim some people play toggle if it works for you it works for you i play hold lean i have heard people say holding is a lot better for them so give it a try um, it does take a while to learn though if you've been on toggle. Um, this is all preference and like with crouch and prone, it's up to you. Um, I'm not really a controller guy anymore. I used to be, but I mean, if I were give a tip, it would just be vibration off and what was that one other setting? The controller rotation on classic. For the rest, I haven't played controller in ages, especially Siege, so can't really help on that. This is just um. What is this? I oh, know you're good. This is just privacy. Accessibility. Accessibility. I don't know why I like butchered that. Um, this is our preference. Um, the color you like and the opacity. I would probably recommend something between like 60 and like 80. I just put on 77. Uh, colors that people I mainly see use is turquoise, light blue, any of the greens. I've seen white, black, uh, purple preference uh motion blur this is like when you get shot at this actually isn't like in-game motion blur it's when you get um shot at your screen gives you like kind of of a directional like indication of where you're getting shot from so i personally like it on if you don't like it on then you can turn it off try it out see what you like but i've seen most people like it off i honestly prefer it on um a friendly and enemy team color most people just say put your team on red and the enemy team colors on blue because 
enemy gadgets like claymores or like cameras, like Valkyrie cameras, it will be easier to spot. But if I'm being honest, I've been playing the game for so long that this is what I'm just used to. And I'm not going to change it. Call me stubborn. Call me brain dead. This is what I use. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So I also want to show you guys our plan. So this also works for um, Windows 10 as well. But you want to switch to power plan and I mean, if you really want to, you could run high performance. There's ultimate performance as well. I would re just recommend staying on high performance or balance. This is just an additional option. Um, and then next, I want to show you guys my NVIDIA control and NVIDIA app settings. All right, so these right here are my NVIDIA settings. This is the NVIDIA app. This is the control panel. So right here is where you want to go to or the app is where you want to go to update your drivers and things like that. They also do offer an overclock type of feature, but I don't think it really works that well. Um, but you can mess around with it if you want. Hopefully don't blow up your computer. Hey, don't blame me if you do it, bro. <laughs> that ain't on me, man. Um, well, for this, let's see what, what I have it on. Okay, use image 3D settings. I want to show you guys these settings, but honestly, I have not messed around or tried any of these recently, so I'm not sure how well uh, they actually work. There's probably videos that are better off for certain games. Um, the show settings for um, other games, but I don't think this really matters for Siege. I mainly just tweaked it for Tarkov when I used to play it pretty often. Most of these others don't really matter. Change resolution though. Okay, I guess this one's what matters. So here, you want to make sure you're always on the highest refresh rate. So like if I go here and I click on native, it caps out on 60. That's not what you want. I want to scroll down where it says PC. You get the highest refresh rate. That's my second one. This is my first one. Uh, I play 1440p 360 hertz. If you plan on getting one, uh, 1440p monitor, I would recommend OLED. Even though like people complain about the uh, screen burning. I feel like we're too advanced in technology for you to be worried about that. You'll just probably be able to get a warranty replacement and be a okay. Um, to get a little bit more colors out of your monitor, uh, you want to turn up your digital vibrance. By default, it is um, 50. I just have it on 85. Um, that's just how I like it. Um, well, 84. But I have it on both my monitors. That's 84. Oh, no, this one's 85, but you get it. I mess around with this. Um, I really, really, I mean, you could use 100, but that might be a little bit too much. Um, when it comes to certain like uh, applications or games, it might be a little bit like too uh, saturated. The other um, settings really shouldn't matter, but I'm going to show it just in case. Yeah, no, they don't matter. So that's pretty much it. End of the video. Appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys have a um great day night afternoon evening just hey man be safe take care love y'all and see y'all next time